Welcome to the Bobby Wallace Show. Here are your hosts, Coach Bobby Wallace and Jeff Hodges. Hello and welcome to the preseason edition of the Bobby Wallace Show and University of North Alabama football for 2015. I'm Jeff Hodges along with UNA head football coach Bobby Wallace and Coach Wallace it's always an exciting time of year when you're getting ready for your first game but maybe even a little more excitement this year is you have 56 lettermen and 15 starters coming back from a team that has a chance to win a third straight conference championship. Well you know it is very exciting and uh, everybody's you know just anxious to go well of course we start off uh, tonight with Miles and you know, Miles is going to be a big challenge. We hadn't seen that kind of speed uh, since last season because uh, we don't scrimmage much in practice. But with all the experience that you mentioned coming back uh, with all these seniors that were recruited in that first class, uh, you know, we've watched Luke Wingo, we've watched Lamonte, we've watched Lee Mayhaw, we've watched uh, Floyd Jones, all these players, uh, and I'm just naming a few, uh, that have played so much football in the last uh, three years and, and had success. I mean, you know, their freshman year we went five and five and kind of a, a rebuilding situation and then we've won a share of the championship for the last two years. Both years just lost one regular season game, uh, nine and one. And, uh, you know, so they've had success and I, th I hope it's uh, motivated them to try to make that final step and go a little bit further. But. Uh, you know, we got to take it one game at a time, as any coach would say. And, you know, Miles is a conference, I mean, excuse me, a regional Division II game, and it puts a lot of importance in it. Uh, and so, uh, you know, hopefully we will play well tonight. When you came back to UNA in 2012, that first signing class you had had 37 freshmen kind of trying to rebuild the program. And for a lot of those guys like Lamonte and Floyd, this was their first collegiate start. It was the same game the Labor Day weekend at Miles, and they both were successful in well, that game. Yeah, well, it's just like I was talking to Lee Mayhall's dad. And, you know, so much has changed in, in those three years. Uh, it's amazing how fast time goes by. And these kids, they come in as high school freshmen, and, man, you just blink, and they're, and they're seniors, and they're fixing to be gone. And, uh, you know, it's tough. I mean, you hate to, you know, when you, the one bad thing about doing, uh, using the philosophy that I believe in is, is the fact that, you know, we, you bring in these high school kids and you develop the intangibles and you develop the closeness and the relationships. Boy, it's tough to see them go. And, uh, you know, here they are going into their last year, but you're right. Uh, talking to Lee Mayhall's parents and they were talking about, uh, you know, three years ago, if they were going to, to Legion Field, just loose as they could be, having fun, you're not expecting Lee to play any, and I don't think he did much if he played at all. But uh, but here we are three years later, he's a star, he's coming off an injury, they're nervous, they, they know it's, you know, the pressure's kind of on us to to have a great year, and which is good. I mean, it always is at UNA, as you know, and, uh, you know, it's just a different uh, deal. And uh, so uh, we're excited about it, but at the same time, we know we've got a lot of work to do. You've been in coaching a long time, and obviously there are occasions when you coach against someone that you may have played with or that you've coached with before, but another unique opportunity to coach against some guys that were actually your players, Reginald Ruffin and Ronald McKinnon at uh, Miles. Well, you know, Reggie's done a great job at Miles. I mean, you can't underestimate how good a job he's done. Uh, but making the playoff first time in school history a couple of years ago and, uh, you know, winning the conference. and. Uh, just just a super, super job, super individual, great player when he was here at UNA, uh, but more so a great person. Uh, played defensive end, was an All-American his senior year. We needed a middle linebacker after Ronald, who was the other coach that you're talking about, and I'll talk about him in a second, but uh, graduated and uh, went to middle linebacker and made All-American again. And uh, team player, great, great person. Uh, Ronald McKinnon, you know, maybe one of the best players to ever play, if not the so, you know, Harlan Hill, I mean, you, you, I don't want to rank players, but, you know, he's one of the greats that play at UNA, three national championships, three conference championships, 41-1. Uh, and one. He was the leader of the defense. Of course, Cody was the leader of the offense, Cody Gross, our offensive coordinator. So, uh, you know, we had great leadership, but that's what kind of coach he is. You know, he's the same thing as a coach, uh, a great leader. Uh, you know, great role model for the young people, and I'm re very happy to see them be successful. I just don't want it to be tonight. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll break down the 2015 UNA offense. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TNT Fireworks, the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, and the Marriott of the Shoals Hotel and Spa, and by Little Steve's. 
TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. When you support Little Steve's Convenience Stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Little Steve's, you're saying, we believe in America. Little Steve's, six locations in Florence, Pine Street, Florence Boulevard, at the corner of Helton Drive and Cox Creek Parkway, Cloverdale Road, Petersville, Woodward Avenue and Muscle Shoals, and Jackson Highway in Sheffield. Little Steve's, believe in America. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. We're going to talk a little bit now about the 2015 UNA offense, and it's always great when you have a, a starting quarterback coming back that's really directed your team for three years, but in this case, you actually have a, a backup who's played a lot uh, the last couple of years, too, and Jacob Tucker, Luke Wingo, yeah. and Jacob. That's a great combination to have. Oh, it's, all, it's awesome, and, you know, I don't even look at Jacob Tucker as a backup. I know you got to say that because, you know, Luke is the starter, but uh, Jacob is a great player, and uh, – you know, we're going to play him just like we always do, uh, probably the third series in the game, uh, play him a lot during the game. Uh, they're both so much alike as far as, not really, but they are. Uh, and I say not really because Luke's more of a fin finesse thrower. Jacob probably has a stronger arm. Jacob's probably a stronger runner uh, as far as power, but then Luke outruns people uh, and, and is big and strong too. And uh, they've both gotten so much bigger and stronger since their freshman year, and, and, and they're so knowledgeable about our offense. I mean, they really could coach the offense. Uh, uh, you know, they know everything that everybody on the offense is supposed to do. And, and so when you have guys like that out there, then, uh, you know, at that position, uh, they're great leaders, they're great people, they're good students, uh, really outstanding students. And, uh, you know, they got all the qualities and intangibles you want in a quarterback, and we've been very fortunate to have gotten both of them that first year we came here, as, you know, freshmen out of high school, and uh, they haven't, you know, they've been everything we ever could have expected, and uh, you know, so you know, of course, then you know, this will be, you know, Luke's senior year, and then Jacob, you know, we did redshirt him his freshman year <clears throat> because of an injury to his back, and uh, so he'll have one more year after this, and then we've got a third quarterback. It's you know, we don't know what, whether we're going to play, uh, play him much or not, but uh, Blake Hawkins, that he's got a great future ahead of him, too, from Florence High School. So very fortunate at the quarterback position, uh, you know, that uh, we've got a lot of people to p pick from. And you've been able to really open up the offense the last couple of years, averaging almost 40 points a game, and a big part of that has been able to run the football. When you have Lamonte Thompson and Diamond Simmons coming back, again, very strong running right. game. Well, we want to be a physical running team, and that's, uh, that's one other great thing about having two quarterbacks because we run them also, uh, and that gives you the security of not worrying about you know, one, you know, one play and you having to go to your backup quarterback. But at the same time, uh, that opens up the running a lot for the uh, running backs. Lamonte Thompson, two-time all-conference player, uh, Man, uh, you know, one thing that's great about our, our, good pl our great players is the fact that they are the hardest workers, they're the, har they're the leaders, they do everything like you want them to do it, and Lamonte and Diamond fit that uh, bill. They're, uh, they're, they're always, you know, working hard at practice, working hard in the weight room, working hard at running sprints, uh, everything we do, and that really t sends a message to the rest of the team because they are the great players. Uh, Lamonte, you know, what a career he's had from Florence High School. Uh, it's just been, you know, unbelievable. And then, of course, Diamond being behind him, you know, it's the same thing. That uh, Diamond was in that class with Luke and Jacob. Now, Lamonte was already here as a redshirt uh, freshman. But uh, having them all four years has been really wonderful. 
And then in the passing game, of course, some great big play receivers like Dre Hall and then your possession guy, Lee Mayhall, coming yeah, back. Well, Lee's in that same group. And, you know, of course, you know, super student, super person. Uh, can't say enough about him. All-conference, all-American, academic. Uh, one of 24 in the whole nation last year to uh, to make Division II all-American, uh, academic all-American. Dre Hall came into his own last year. I mean, it started, you know, as the season went, and he got better and better and better. You know, we did lose Delvon Carpenter uh, last year uh, that was really kind of our big play player. But, you know, at the end of the year, you know, Dre wasn't far behind him if, if he was at all. And uh, he's picked up where, where he left off, if not improved on it. Uh, you know, he's just a, got tremendous hands with a lot of strength in his hands. Uh, Hagen Scott uh, is going to start at the other wide out. And Hagen uh, was a freshman last year. and. He's gotten bigger and stronger, and uh, he, you know we expect a great year from him. And then we're going to actually carry 14 seniors. Uh, I mean, excuse me, 14 uh, wide receivers. So we got to narrow that down before we go to Valdosta in uh, three or four weeks. But uh, you know we've got a lot of people that can contribute there. And then on the offensive line, your biggest concern was trying to develop some depth, but you do feel good about your first unit. Well, we do, and, and I think the depth we feel better about also. We've added, uh, you know, first of all, you've got your starters that uh, I think are very solid and, and maybe uh, the best group we've had since I've been back here. Uh, of course, Stephen Evans, Jalen Beavers, uh, Cody Vaughn, a junior college kid at center that went through spring training, uh, Jess Cooper and Rod Winston, uh, who've been with us uh, you know, for Rod's going on his, you know, he's a senior in that group. And uh, they do a super job. We added Robert Lane and Lorenzo Allen, two junior college players, to give us some depth. And Braxton Pitts put on a lot of weight this summer, and he's really looked good. And then another walk on, Jordan Brooks, out of Pelham High School, has really come on and had a great preseason. So, and then you got Lawrence Carmichael and, and, and you know, some other guys too. So, you know, we've really got a lot of depth. We'll take a quick break, and we'll talk about the defense when we come back. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser and by Southern Fastening. Come here. Wow. Come here. Uh -oh. so you can down. What's going on up there? Definitely home, Chuck. This is all for you. Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> There was hammer and nail, then air-powered pneumatics, followed by cordless tools, both gas and battery powered. Now, from Senco, the leader in the power fastening industry, there is Fusion Technology. Power fastening with no gas, no hose, no competition. Senco's Fusion Technology creates the first true cordless pneumatic nailers. Five distribution centers in the southeast as a Southern Fastening Systems representative nearby to serve you. Southern Fastening Systems and Senco Brands, a team that can be beat. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. Coach Wallace, now we want to preview this year's defense a little bit. And a lot of times I think you'd probably start with linebackers or defensive line, but we're definitely starting uh, with the secondary and especially <laughs> cornerbacks. you got a really special group there. Well, we really do. It's uh, we got six corners and, you know, five with experience. Uh, Jalen Green's a redshirt freshman that, uh, you know, will have a great career here. But uh, the five veterans, uh, of course, two of them have been all conference and Le uh, Levi Fell and Philbert Marshall and then, you got Darvell Harris and Darian Jones and Victor Jenkins. I, I don't know how it happened that we ended up with five outstanding cornerbacks, but it's really a luxury nowadays with the spread offenses and uh, the people playing three and four wideouts all the time because now we're going to be able to play, match up with them. And it'll help our defensive front also on run support. And uh, so, you know, it's, uh, you know, we're going to put a lot of pressure on those guys. You know, people are going to say, I'm bragging about the secondary, man, this guy got beat for a 30-yard pass. Well, they're going to get beat some, but you just watch after they complete a 30-yard pass, they're probably going to have three or four incompletes. So, uh, you know, we're going to put the pressure on the quarterbacks, make them throw into small pockets and uh, or windows, and and uh, I think our guys can do a great job there. So that's how we're going to start the season, trying to trying to be. And of course, the, the safeties are all experienced too. And <coughs> give me Floyd Jones. Uh, been a you know four-year starter and, and an outstanding player. He's kind of leading the pack with Jalen Reedus, who you know started as a freshman also uh, three years ago. So 
a lot of experience there. I was going to say a lot of experience. That's a luxury you really don't have on the defensive line. But you got a couple of newcomers that were here in the spring with you, and Baron Miller and EJ Parnell, and it had to help to have them go through the spring with and really be in a position to help start now. Well, it did, and we played Tyler Smith at Mike linebacker during the spring, and that experiment didn't really work out, so we moved him back to end. Uh, so that gives, and then Blake Bean moved back from offense to uh, defense. So we got four defensive ends that we're real comfortable with. <coughs> I think EJ gives us the best pass rushing situation, but the other ones all play so hard and play good. Uh, defensive line wise, we're going to rotate about seven guys or six. And, uh, you know, without scrimmaging much, you know, DeAndre Harrison has a little bit of experience, but through injuries and, and uh, situations that he hasn't had as much as, as a senior would have, or redshirt junior. And, uh, so the other guys are all inexperienced for the most part. So we're going to rotate them and see, uh, you know, act actually who does the best. And uh, then at linebacker, uh, we got seven guys there that can play, and we're going to rotate those guys. So we, the newcomers, you know, we got C.J. Jackson back as a returning starter, and then uh, uh, Josh Tate and Bud Coleman will be at the Sam linebacker. Bud was a starter till he got hurt last year, and Josh Tate transferred from Naval Academy, an outstanding player. Uh, and then with CJ, we've got uh, uh, Marcus Robinson, who was a great recruit out of high school, signed with Ole Miss, and went to junior college, and uh, has a lot of talent, and really had a good uh, fall camp. And then at Mike, uh, you've got Antonio Curry, who started at West Alabama, kind of a Gabe Poe story again, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, started there and transferred here with a two-year layout rule. And uh, then Mike uh, McGee behind him, a freshman from Oxford, and then Edric Harris is kind of the seventh guy that can play Will and Mike. And we'll rotate those guys and uh, keep them fresh and see which ones really play the best on, under the lights. You did have one coaching change this year, Harold Wisdom, uh, gone from the staff, but you added Gabe Poe and it's been yeah. a great addition so well, far. Well, it has, Gabe. So, you know, Gabe's a great leader, kind of the Ronald McKinnon clone, you know, great leader, great person, great student. Uh, and, you know, those are the kind of people that uh, make great coaches and uh, he's going to do a super job for us. We're going to take another time out and we'll have more Lion football when we come back. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by Here's the game plan at the all-new University Toyota. No trick plays, no razzle-dazzle. Just straight-up savings on hundreds of new Toyotas. Like new Corollas from $159 a month. New Camrys, $189 a month. Go long with no payments until next year. Or try one before you buy one with Toyota Rent-A-Car. Score a great deal during the game plan for savings event at the all-new University Toyota. Formerly Jim Bishop Toyota. New name, same familiar faces. Hi, I'm Bobby Wallace, and I would like to invite you to shop with my friends at Hometown Market, located in the Seven Point Shopping Center in Florence. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs, with a large selection of groceries, fresh fruits, and vegetables at their everyday low prices. Their meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by the qualified meat cutters. Look for the other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Decatur, Hartzell, and Aniana. Hometown Market, 1421 North Wood Avenue in the Seven Point Shopping Center. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II National Championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union, and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our houses, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time, so it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union.
Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. Coach Wallace, you want to talk a little now about the special teams, and you got some familiar faces back in your long snapper, Will Loveless. you got a new face uh, as a kicker. A guy was here with you last year in Kevin Hinkey and then a new punter. So let's talk a little bit about those guys. Well, you know, specialty uh, is kind of a hot, cold type deal where um, we've got great players coming back, uh, not just Will Loveless, who's the all-conference long snapper, but uh, Philbert Marshall and Darvell Harris returning kicks and punts. And then, you know, don't ever want to uh, overlook the holder on extra point and field goals and Lee Mayhall, what a great job he does. So, uh, you know, those phases are good. Now, the guys that actually put the foot on the ball are going to be new. And that's what's going to be interesting to see. Kevin Hinkey has kicked a few extra points last year. Uh, we have a lot of confidence in Kevin. We got a lot of confidence in him, in him being very consistent on extra point field goals. And medium range uh, field goals in the end will be in 45 to the end, maybe 43, 42 yards in the end. He doesn't have the, the big leg that Taylor Pony has had or has, but, uh, and of course, then that's a concern on kickoffs. It'll be interesting. We got to cover kickoffs. We won't be kicking them out of the end zone this year, but he'll get them down there inside the five, which is good. And then Jeb Millender is the punter. He was an All-American, second team All-American at Itawamba Junior College last year. Averaged 41 point something yards. A, a kick plus was, I think he led the nation or was high in the nation and uh, punts down inside the 20. Uh, so, you know, he, he's got experience in the Junior College League and, you know, but until they go out there uh, and do it, you know, and live for us, we'll just have to kind of Wait and see, but uh, we have confidence in them. So, uh, you know, hopefully the special teams will be, be – it should be good because of the speed we have on the defense on, at linebacker and defensive backs. We're going to transition a little bit and talk about you for a minute. Of course, you've had your share of, of honors and national honors and, uh, and several Hall of Fames, but a very special opportunity this year. Uh, you go into the season with just three wins behind Hal Self uh, to try and become the winningest coach in UNA football history. And for people who may not remember Coach Self, there was a period of, of about 11 years – where UNA didn't lose a single game to another team from the state of Alabama. They were 31-0-2. And, and that's how great the program was back in those days. And uh, to be able to, to have an opportunity to perhaps surpass him has got to be pretty special, especially with your connections with the family. Well, it is. I mean, I, you know, passing him is not special. Just being mentioned with him is special. Uh, you know, the uh, coach self, what he did here uh, to put UNA or – Florence State or whatever it was called back then on the map and uh, start the football program. Uh, doing it basically, him and I believe Coach Mock was was at his first assistant. George Weeks. George Weeks. I mean, you know, just a few guys and putting the program together. And, you know, they set the bar for all of us that have been here and been fortunate enough to have the opportunity to coach here. And, uh, you know, we always want to, you know, and so I, I have all the respect in the world for him. I, I'm very fortunate to have gotten to know his family real well. Uh, his wife lives next door, Shirley. She's a great supporter of UNA uh, athletics, comes to the Sportsman's Club stuff and, and the games, and uh, what a great person she is. I've gotten to know her pretty well. And then, of course, his uh, two sons and, and, their, and his da their daughter. I know all three of them very well. And, uh, then even his grandson, uh, Neil Self, who was my son Robert's age growing up, and they were really close friends. So, you know, I, I know the Self family well. Uh, I take it as an honor to be mentioned with him. I, you know, I, you know, I almost wish I wouldn't break the record. I almost wish I could tie it or be one behind him. Uh, but, you know, our players want to win, and we do too, so we just got to move on. We'll take one final break and have some closing comments when we come back. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TVA Community Credit Union and by Montagues and Frostbite. TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our house sets, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time. So it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. 
TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Hi, I'm Bobby Wallace, and I would like to invite you to shop with my friends at Hometown Market, located in the Seven Point Shopping Center in Florence. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs, with a large selection of groceries, fresh fruits, and vegetables at their everyday low prices. Their meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by the qualified meat cutters. Look for the other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Decatur, Hartzell, and Aniana. Hometown Market, 1421 North Wood Avenue in the Seven Point Shopping Center. Very excited about being here. Very excited that you're here. Uh, you know, it just means a lot to me and uh, it's a great way to get started. And I've got a lot invested in this university and I love this university. And I Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. Coach Wallace is going to be our home opener next weekend, hosting Mississippi College and old GSC rival September the 12th at Brawley Stadium. And it's always great to have that home opener, but it's also going to be special having a reunion of the 1985 team. Well, it is. Uh, people need to realize that 85 team that went out to McAllen, Texas uh, to play for the national championship. You know, they played a great North Dakota State team, and they did not win the championship. But the fact that they went, and our people from Florence went, we, led by Grady Lyles, allowed us to bring that game. They said, well, boy, we can do a better job. And all of a sudden, we brought the championship game back here for 26 years. And who knows how many national championships we would have actually won had we had to go somewhere else and play. I think 95 was a slam dunk. I don't think anybody could have beat us. But 93 and 94, tight games. And having that home field advantage had to help. And uh, so that team's special to me. It ought to be special to them. I think we got about 90 people coming back. So it ought to be awesome. And a big game, it's your GSC opener, and of course it'll start your quest for trying to win a, a third straight GSC title. Well, that's right, and you know, it's, uh, you know, anytime you, every conference game's tough. I've already mentioned how tough the conference is going to be this year. Any of six teams, I think, can win it, and so every game's going to be critical because it's going to go down to almost a tie at the end. UNA Mississippi College this Saturday, 6 o'clock at Brawley Stadium. Hope to see you out there. Roar Lions. Thank you for watching The Bobby Wallace Show. Please join us again next Sunday at 6.30.